Hey Seekers, I'm Luca Nicora, your host, and this is... And now what? Can I get a what what? What? Exactly. Today we'll talk about uh, the brain. What just happened? Before we dive into it, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel just to let other brainiacs like you know that, well, these videos exist. Because I'm just starting out, so... Generally speaking, men's brains are 10% larger than women's, even after taking into account body sizes. However, the hippocampus, not something related to hippopotamus. <laughs> I, can't, I can't even say hippopotamus. That is a complicated word. A part of the brain linked to memory is usually larger in women's brains. That's why they remember everything. Everything. But then again, the size don't matter much in terms of intelligence, so. It's not the size, it's how you use it. Now, no matter how smart you are or how big your brain is or how small your hippocampus may or might not be, there's one thing your brain can't do. Make coffee? Well, yeah, and yeah, the, the brain uh, can't. Fly, do. I guess. Oh, 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 juggle angry hyenas. Stop it. I'm trying to say something here. <sighs> Kids. As I was saying, there's one thing the brain can do, and that is to tell the difference between reality and imagination. Wait, are you telling me that we have the wonder of the universe in our heads, a complex tool of uh, organic technology that scientists still, still now don't really fully comprehend, and yet it can't tell the difference between imagination and reality? Yep. When I first heard that, I was like, Pfft. Nah, my brain knows the difference. Like, Harry Potter, fake. Star Wars, true, but in a galaxy far, far, far away. See? Easy. The thing is, it's not about reality versus fiction. It's about the actual physical reaction in the body and the brain. The brain cannot really tell the difference between imagined or real movement. Pfft, so dumb. A loser! The part of the brain that are activated when you're doing a physical activity or imagining doing it are the same. And that is why athletes always rehearse their game or, or their race before the event. Study shows that their performance and their ability to be more flexible in case of something shows up that's different is incredibly, tremendously, tremendously enhanced. Not only that, but listen to this because it's pretty crazy. There is a study that was led by neuroscientists at Harvard that showed that Practicing the piano physically or imagining practicing it had the same result. <laughs> Tell that to Mozart. So they taught a simple exercise on the piano to two groups. One group had to practice physically every day on the piano, and for the other group, they had to just imagine practicing it. At the end, both groups were able to do the same thing. Was? Nein, nicht möglich. Study finds that interacting with pets increases levels of oxytocin, beta endorphin, and dopamine, which are hormones of happiness, joy, and love, and will reduce levels of cortisol, which is a hormones related to stress and anxiety. Is that why cat videos are so popular? That's right, watching a video or actually petting the animal has very similar effects on the brain. If you're thinking about a stressful or a negative situation, your body and your brain will react the same way as if it was actually happening. So stop thinking about your plan in case of a zombie apocalypse. So just do like me, write them down, put them on a laminate paper. I have my 48 step plan stored under my bed with a, a baseball bat. Now you don't have to think about it. Smart cookie. In a stressful situation, your brain turns on the fight or flight mode. Survival mode. The brain produces hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. It gets you ready to fight or escape a situation. Your breath gets shorter, you get excited and, and, and stressed, ready to fight or run away. Great if you're actually getting attacked by a bloodthirsty yet very attractive group of Vikings, but that doesn't happen every day. The thing is, in your daily life, you're thinking about asking your boss for a raise or, or, or about that colleague you hate who's always chewing really loudly. Well, your body thinks it's a threat, so it's gonna react the same way. The problem is too much cortisol will suppress your immune system, drive up your blood pressure and sugar levels. It will decrease your libido and will contribute to obesity and disease. This is not helping my anxiety. So if negative thinking suppresses the immune system, makes us feel more anxious and prone to disease, does that mean that positive thinking may 
calms down, make us feel happier and possibly heal? I don't know, I'm not a doctor, tell me. Well, the short answer is yes, we see ya hype. For a long time, the placebo effect was considered a failure. I'm 12, I don't know what a placebo is. Is it some kind of French indie rock band from the early 2000s? So here's a refreshener. The placebo is the substance that has no therapeutic value. When pharmaceutical companies are trying new drugs, they give to one group the actual drug and to the other group a placebo, which is basically a sugar pill. So if the two groups are getting about the same results, the drug is considered a failure. However, recently scientists have not been looking at this as a failure but as a success. So what's interesting is that in the placebo group where people think they're actually taking the drug but it's just a sugar pill, one out of three people are actually getting better. 33% of the placebo groups are getting better. That's incredible. That shows the true power of the mind. If you really believe that the drug you're taking will make you feel better, your body and brain will find the resources to actually heal you. That's crazy. Another fun one, the nocebo effect. Have you ever heard of the nocebo effect? Because that was the first time for me while researching for this video. But if you did, like the video and write down in the comment section, Brilliant. the nocebo effect is when someone does not believe that a drug will work and it does not work on them because they don't believe in it. What? Look, goosebumps. <laughs> Another incredible study finds that positive thinking may be the fountain of youth. How is that? I'm glad you asked. Camera, because it's just me alone in my room. Uh. Positive thinking, positive thinking. In 1981, Harvard professor Adam Langer brought two groups of men in their 70s and 80s up to a monastery in New Hampshire. The first group had to pretend that they were 22 years younger. The, the monastery was revamped to look like it was back in the 50s. They were listening to music from back in the days, watching movies from the 50s. Dale pitches himself out of trouble. Goodman grounds out, ending the second group, they just had to reminisce and remember what it was like back in the days in that same environment. Before and after, they had to go through a series of intellectual and physical tests. And what the results showed is that after only one week of pretending and reminiscing uh, of the good old days, both groups showed much more strength, flexibility, and cognition abilities. Their height, their gait, their weight, even their fingers were less gnarled by arthritis. And what's really interesting is that the group that actually pretended to be 22 years younger had much better results. So, who are you pretending to be? And now what? So, in a way, if your brain can't tell the difference, then you can do anything and be anyone. So I guess fake news is sometimes good news. Nope, nope, that's still bad. Still a bad thing. You know what I'm trying to say. Okay, next. So now if you're waiting for the perfect partner to feel loved, for the house, to feel safe, for the money, to feel, to feel abundant, the next job, to feel successful, well, then you might be waiting for a while before actually feeling excited, loved, and, and, and happy about your life. And the thing is, once they happen, you, you will be excited for a second before you want the next thing. You know, we always want something bigger, better, faster, stronger. So why don't we teach our brain to just feel these things before they happen, huh? And if the law of attraction is real, then, well, they will come our way. Score! The worst thing that can happen is that we'll feel better, happier, healthier. Remember those cortisol levels? Mm. Okay, so now this is what you can do with this information. Ask yourself, how would I feel if I had the perfect home, the perfect partner, the perfect job, the perfect body, okay? How would I feel if I had the perfect life? How does it feel to be rich, to be loved, to be successful? You can close your eyes, take a moment. How does it feel to have all these things? How do you think? How do you talk to yourself? How do you talk to others? Put them on post-its all around your house. When you read those post-its, like really feel that, yeah? And if at first it doesn't feel natural and, and it feels forced and you don't really feel it, it's okay. Just practice, it's like a workout. The more you do it, the easier it'll get and then the more you'll feel it. And then your personality, your life starts changing. Okay, second thing is record affirmations. You know, as if you were your best friend when they're drunk. I love you so much, like you're, like, like, you're the best, man. I, uh, 
You're so talented, man. Well, you, you don't have to record that way, but you, you know what I mean. And just, and remember, really feel those things. Cause if you don't feel it, it is just background noise. It's not gonna necessarily do much. Next thing, put an alarm on your phone to three times a day to remind you how awesome you are. Oprah does it. So if Oprah does it, you know, if the goddess does it, then it's gotta be good. Next thing is move, walk, and talk as if you had all your dreams come true. There's an actual German study that shows that putting a pencil in your mouth, which forces the corner of your mouth to stretch into a smile, start to make you feel happier. Yeah, people actually get happier by forcing themselves to smile. And what about power poses? Like, you do feel different about yourself when you're sitting like this, or standing like this. Pro tip, listen to some music you really love to really get you pumped up. Yeah, when you do your groceries, you're like, I feel like a real OJ. OG? Old school gangster. Okay, the other thing is be aware of your thoughts. I used to, whenever someone would sneeze, I would be like, what is it? I'm gonna catch it. I can't, I can't breathe. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. But the truth is the body always fights viruses and bacteria all day long. Like, it's nothing new. So now when someone sneezes or someone looks sick, I'm like, uh-uh, not this guy. I'm like Super Mario, I ate the star. Well, that's what I think. That's not necessarily what I do in front of people. Since then, I don't get sick anymore. But remember, we're still in a global pandemic and make sure to comply with COVID-19 health regulations. Yes. Nope. How can you be more aware of your thoughts? Meditation. They're free, so it's a little gift for y'all. Next tip, learn more about your brain and about how you function, all right? Check below the links, my favorite books, and also to Audible where you can get some audiobooks if you prefer that. Before I share the last tip, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share it to anyone who could use it. That would really, really help my channel and help me keep doing these videos. And now the weather, uh, the last tip. Nope. The last tip is a very simple one. If you find yourself on a daily basis perusing the social medias, uh, just switch from watching and looking at accounts of people who make you feel weird about yourself and your body and about how you're not doing anything with your life. Watch cat videos, okay? This is Uncle Luca telling you, you have permission to spend time watching cat videos. This is cute. Okay, so now make sure that you implement these habits in your daily life uh, so that they become habits, just like brushing your teeth or, or, or showering, okay? Just keep those mental bacteria away. I'm doing these videos to share with you guys my journey and all the information I'm finding on my way. Um, and anything that works for me. However, these videos are for you guys. So whatever you want me to talk about, whatever you want me to research, just put it down in the comments. Okay, so now go out there and be awesome, be toit, be rich, be whatever you wanna be, okay? Cause you are a rock star. Invest in your future, invest in yourself. Love you guys. Peace.